Hill's Adventist College at the beginning of 2020 was all set to be like every other year. Students were excited to be back at school and those who missed out on their camps in 2020 were excited for their camps this year. And maybe we were all just a little naively thinking things were back to normal. But more on that later. Our year started with the new large Year 7 cohort going to the Outdoor Adventure Camp in Morissette with the intention of building resilience, friendships and a sense of belonging. The students got to enjoy activities such as mud world, high ropes, kayaking and a zip line. Next, our Year 9s headed out to the bush in Wollomai for their Invictus Camp. This camp focuses on developing independence and resilience as students are required to pack, cook, clean and hike for themselves over three days. Situated next to New South Wales' cleanest river system, the students got to finish each day cooling off in the river. And speaking of swimming, our junior, middle and senior school combined for our annual swimming carnival. We hosted this event at the new location of Riverstone and our little ones met at Castle Hill for an introduction to what swimming carnivals are all about. This swimming carnival was a day of tremendous individual achievement and community spirit as our sporting houses competed against each other for this year's bragging rights. On the last day of Term 1, we held our cross-country carnival at Rouse Hill Regional Park. With courses ranging from 2 kilometres to 8 kilometres, everybody was challenged in the heat of the day, and the fastest among us went on to compete at the Hill Zone Carnival in Term 2. Every year in Term 2, Years 5 to 12 combine every morning for a week of worship. We believe that the spiritual lives of our students is one of the key aspects of life. And during this week, students are challenged to look outwards to others in their community and to God for guidance in their lives. Each morning, there is a worship program which is student-led, which is based around a certain theme. This year's theme was Jesus Is, referring to the idea that Jesus is all things to all people and each morning focused on a different aspect of who Jesus is to us. Eddie Hippolyte was the guest speaker who challenged the students to be others focused and to live the life that Jesus calls us all to. With over 150 requests for prayer from our students, it's safe to say that God's spirit was moving during this week of worship. We also combined with the Sydney schools here at Hills to celebrate our conference-wide senior day of worship with separate days for stages five and six this event gives students the ability to make connections with students from our sister schools and unite together under our belief in Jesus. The days were separated into two elements, a worship service and warrior games. With all the schools competing against each other, winners were grinners and school pride was at an all-time high. In Term 2, the Year 6 cohort took their annual trip to Canberra to learn about the governing systems of our nation and some of the history behind its development. Stopping in at the museums of war and democracy, our students looked through the window of history to understand the important achievements and sacrifices made to make our country as great as it is. Students also had a fun time at the Centre for Science and Technology, Questacon, and the Australian Institute of Sport. On the second last day of Term 2, both campuses of Hills Adventist College made their way into a Sydney Olympic Park for our annual athletics carnival. This logistical feat was organised by Mr Parmenta, who should be congratulated for his efforts. This day was characterised by fierce competition, immense sporting house spirit and records being broken by the elite athletes of our college. With fine weather and lots of positive attitudes, a great day was had by all. We were halfway through the year and just starting to trust our prior hopes that this year was a return to normal. Then the new Delta strain of the coronavirus saw the infection rates around Australia soar and all our schools were closed. Students of Hills Adventist College learned remotely for up to 70 days of the 2021 school year. While this was enjoyed by some and loathed by others, we are so proud of our students for their positivity around this time of remote learning and were even happier to see them back in person. In week 9 of Term 4, we celebrated the Year 8s and their finishing of middle school. This assembly is always a great event with many performances from our talented cohorts. A special thank to all the Year 8 teachers and especially Mrs Ashby for all their hard work in celebrating this great group of students. On Thursday of week 9, the school gathered outside for our annual Christmas chapel. Usually held in the MPC, 
We had to gather on the Oval this year due to COVID restrictions. It was a true Australian Christmas festivity. As we sat there sweating in the summer heat, we were blessed with some amazing acts from individual students and some truly heartwarming performances from our junior school. The final week of school was all about fun and celebrating the year coming to a close. Just some of that celebration was the Year 8 cohort heading down to Jamboree for the day. The South Coast Water Park is home to one of the world's best water slides. With something for everyone, at Jamboree, we definitely controlled the action. Later that night, the staff and the graduating class celebrated the end of the HSC journey at Woolwich for the Year 12 formal. Looking dapper and glamorous, we remembered all of the good and the bad times of high school and gave this great group of students the send-off they deserve, given the difficulties of the last two years. It's safe to say we are all ready to celebrate the end of this very strange year. We hope that Christmas is a time for your families to gather in hope and love. Thanks to all the staff and students who make this community such a great place, and we look forward to 2022.